Hey, my legion, how y'all doing today? I'm with my buddy John. We're gonna do a food review of, uh, from uh, Hawthorne's restaurant. Yeah, we're, we're gonna dig into the menu. Oh, oh no, it's right, Mr. Bill. It's the menu. Oh. And what happened was these people get invited to this tropical, not tropical, I don't know. Swanky restaurant. Swank, the, yeah. Small island. On a small island, it's like, I mean, only like select few go to this place to have like a specially made feast where these overly dedicated people spend like. Uh, what was it? Was it 2,500 plate? Something like that? Or yeah, it was a lot. 2,500 something. It was a lot. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was more than. I mean, it's, it's more expensive than McDonald's, but not not as expensive as Wegmans. But <laughs> <laughs> and then um, you know, they're I mean, they, and these people are like like almost cultists. They're super dedicated, highly motivated, super dedicated, super uh, devoted to the chef who creates these. Well, his staff. His staff, yes. It's what <laughs> you kind of pivoted where they're. Yeah. The customers, yeah, are, they're not the customers, are wealthy people. That yeah, wealthy people are like, it's almost like one of these. You ever see these like food groups that have six societies and stuff? Yeah, people are really into fancy foods and stuff. But yeah, the staff is dedicated to the chef. Oh yeah, I mean without a doubt. I mean it's like, um, and you know as the night goes on, it gets more and more bizarre. Oh, well, I mean, like, his staff is almost like cultists in a way. And basically, um, they find out, like, something evil is, is afoot. And all, like, the the foodies there are just all pretentious food snobs. And, like, um, mm, oh, bad people, let's say. But, I mean, food snobs like the JKM craze of the world. Uh, it's really, I mean, you know, whereas I, like, food reviewers... I consider myself the real thing, but not to be a brag by myself. It's a fast. It's really, Great cash really too. cool. Ray finds. Ray finds. Yeah, Taylor Joy. Oh, Holt. Uh, lights in it. Yeah, Judith Light. She's still hot. Yeah, John Leguizamo. John Leguizamo was in it, and then I mean, it's an amazing cast, an amazing movie. I mean, it's also dark humor too. I mean, but it's really. I mean, they really did a really good job, and they said like some of the um, two chefs or the cast. I mean that. I mean that his well, they're cast members too. I mean the cooking and stuff like that. Uh, they were someone was so impressed that they hired the guy for his restaurant. Well, it was a lady that. Yeah, a lady. Uh, you know the one that's like the kind of the main assistant. Yeah. But he said everybody that was a staff member was trained exactly on how to prepare the food. As if they're so. Anytime you're watching the movie, yeah. if you see them, they're actually preparing the food as if it was they're preparing actual meals. Yeah, because you know the food stop they're trying to parody in the movie are going to be keeping an eye on us. Oh, they did this wrong. They did this wrong. Well, I'm actually made to do everything right. It's like a super, super like a parody like shows like I don't know Top Chef or like Iron Chef, like cooking competition shows or like. A super elitist type right. chef or super perfectionist type chef to charge arm and leg for their dishes and stuff. I mean, it, but it's a brilliant, brilliant movie, and I really satire, loved it. Oh, it's great uh, satire, fantastic satire. Um, I thought it was They're written by a couple of people. I guess they worked on stuff for the Onion. Yeah, for the Onion stuff. I mean, it's brilliant. I was kind of like the dark side of Chef. The John Favreau picture, which I saw in 2014, which was brilliant too. Right. I like the dark. It was John Leguizamo in that yeah. one too. He was in that one too, so it comes full circle. Um, I loved the menu. I thought it was fantastic. I give a full on ten out of ten. I can't I recommend it. The enough. meals were to die for. Myself. Yeah, the meals were to die for and stuff like that. Even the breadless meals with the emulsions and stuff. Even the broken emulsion was pretty good. And then they gave a broken emulsion. They give a whole big bowl full of that stuff. I don't know, you probably like, boy, that'd probably kill you. It'd probably be too much. I mean, it's a brilliant, brilliant film. Uh, full on 10 out of 10. I, I can't recommend it enough. So, I mean, dig into the menu. I'm sure you'll find something you'll enjoy. And, um, 
And it's really funny too. I mean, it really. I mean, it's just. It was a lot of. I mean, it was a little bit of slow. I mean, I like a lot of slow burn when you get that feeling of dread, right. not judge dread, but I mean dread. It's. I mean, it's fantastic. Oh. <laughs> yes, I am the law. You will fuck around no more. So, um, uh, ten out of ten for the, uh, the menu. I highly recommend it. I guess that's it for me and my buddy John. So until next time, bye. Please take care of my legion. Awesome.